This is a swift and fluid vinyasa, dynamic vinyasa practice. So keep up where you can, add on where you'd like. It's creative, it's fluid. Um, modify where you need to as well, please. And also give you some ideas for modifications. So today we're talking about prana. So we'll start with the pran mudra. Pran mudra, you know, open your fingers and then just close your last two fingers and bring your thumb on top of the nail of your last two fingers and bring your peace sign fingers together. So like this, and we're gonna bring our arms on our legs. And this is a mudra to help us to invite in positive energy, lengthen the spine, lower the eyelids or close the eyes, rolling the shoulder blades back. Make sure your core is engaged and your spine is tall. Neck is long. Just inviting in positive, inspirational energy today. Energy flows where you send it. If you need to send it to one part of your body, do so now. If you want to send it to someone else, you can do that. Setting your intention for your practice. Your energy flows wherever you send it. So focus on where you want it to go. Start in with ujjayi breath, please. Slight constriction in the throat on the inhale and the exhale. Four more breaths. This mudra also helps you to release energy and stuck areas in your lower chakras, help you to bring energy up. So imagine a fireball of energy. And see that energy rising as you inhale. Let it come up through the chakras, into the throat, into the third eye, all the way towards the top of the head. And then exhale, bring it back down. This time we won't bring it down. Inhale, take it up. Hold it at the top, five, four, three, holding your inhale, exhale down. Just exhaling, not letting the energy come down, keeping the energy up. Inhale, energy rises up through the spinal column towards the top of the head. We're going to hold it there. Hold your breath, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your energy here and exhale. Two more, inhale. The energy rising from lower areas that might keep us lazy. Lifting it up, hold it at the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep it high as you exhale. And two more on your own. Make sure you hold it, hold the breath, hold the energy. Please keep the energy high. You can control this. Last one. And let it go. We control the energy in our practice with our drishti, with our breath, and with our foundation in our practice. We'll be talking about those today. So keeping this wonderful energetic mudra, 
We'll chant a mantra this morning of peace, peace, peace. It's Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Together, inhale. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Keeping our focus on peace, peace, peace. Maggie, yeah, go lay down, go lay down, go to your bed, yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, we're going to start warming up the body. So come releasing your blanket for a moment. We're going to stretch out our legs and we're going to take in the left leg. And you're welcome to bring your blanket back if you'd like. You might want to make it a little bit um, flatter to come into this posture. You're also welcome to take the leg up and behind you. So this will give you a little more hip opening, but it's a little more intense on the knee. So be conscious of that, all right? Taking the right hand long, we're going to start with dynamic warm-ups, and then we'll, stay, we'll go to static. Exhale, reach the left arm up and over. Inhale, coming back over to your other side. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your ujjayi breath. Keep your focus positive. Energy positive. Energy flows where you send it. You send it to positivity. You're gonna be thinking about things outside or inside, positive, uplifting energy. Now we'll stay. So going to the right, exhale long. If you're free to press against the thigh, five ujjayi breaths, three more. Both legs are active. Great way to open the hips, open the low back, and inhale, come back to the center. Bring your hands behind you. Option one, pull the shoulder blades together, and lift your heart. Option two, lift your bottom, point your right toes, five ujjayi breaths. Your energy, if your mind is still in the place before the practice, that's where your energy is. Think about how nice this feels, the beautiful energy going on in your body, the circulation. And then exhale, release, bringing your hands to the front. Right leg is very active, right foot is active. Inhale, legs and spine. Exhale, walk your hands forward halfway, chin comes to throat. Optional to go further, Three more breaths. And then inhale, coming up and change legs. Let's take the left leg long this time. And the right leg can be behind you or can be in front, depending on your hips and your knees. Left leg is very, very active. Stick your bottom slightly out behind you. So you're rolling forward with your pelvis a little bit. You're on the front part of your sits bones. And we'll take our active dynamic warm up first. Exhale to the left. Um, exhale. Gaze stays centered. Inhale. Your foundation is strong. Left leg is active. Your breath is fluid. We're talking about our prana, controlling our energy. And our drishti is centered. Our gaze is in the center. This is number four. Last one, then we'll come up again 
and we'll go to static. Reach long through the left, turn your gaze upward if you can now, so it's a little different drishti. Foundation is strong, left leg is active, right leg is pressing down. Breath is steady and gaze is up because energy is up in this pose. You choose where to send your energy, up or down, positive or negative. Inspirational or dull. One more breath. And slowly coming back to a neutral spine, bring your hands behind you, please. And pointing your left toe, you can pull your shoulder blades together, lift your chin, lift your heart, or lift your bottom also. Gazes up and back. Ujjayi breath. And bringing it down, lift your heart. Exhale, walk your hands forward, stick your bottom a little out behind you. Option to go halfway, chin comes to the throat. Option to go further if you'd like. Four more breaths. And inhale, coming up slowly and stretch the right leg long. Lift your heart, inhale, take a big stretch and exhale with both legs very active, toes turning towards your shoulders. Reach your hands halfway forward, choosing will I stay here? Or maybe you're ready to go a little further. Last breath. And inhale, rise and turn to the front, bringing your left leg forward. Now take both legs behind you. We're going to Kapiyasana. If you have a blanket, you might like that under your knee or Anjaneyasana. Then take the left leg forward first, right leg back. So if you're using a blanket for your knee, put it under the right knee, please. And your front knee is very far from your uh, your right knee, excuse me, is very far from your front heel. Find your hips square. And then any variation with your arms is fine. It can be in a cactus pose. Your arms can reach high up and over your head behind your ears. Now that your foundation is strong, Feet are active, top of right foot is pressing down into the floor, legs are squeezing towards one another. Lift your heart, check in with your breath. Is it fluid? Is it more or less equal from the inhale to the exhale? And then set your drishti, gazing up. Upwards to the point between the ceiling and the wall or the trees in front of you if you're outdoors. Two more breaths. And releasing the hands down to either side. Half Hanuman, Ardha Hanuman. Inhale back to that lifting of the heart, bend the front knee. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale. Lifting your heart. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale, lift your heart once again. And downward facing dog. Move your blanket to the other side if you're using a blanket under your knee. Step the right foot forward this time, left knee down. Square your hips, press your right 
ball of your foot firmly into the floor, the toes, both sides of the heel. Pay attention to the back foot too. Really press down through the front of the foot and that'll help you square your hips. So your foundation is strong. Check in with your breath. Reach your arms up, slight ujjayi breath. In any fashion that you'd like, cactus pose or reaching up and over the head. Now set your energetic drishti. Drishti expresses the energy and the action of the pose. Keep your awareness on your foundation and your breath. Gaze stays high. Right hip engages, right glute rolls back a little bit as it squeezes. Left one's a little softer. Good, and release the hands, Ardha Hanuman. Exhale. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, straighten right leg. Inhale, lift heart. Exhale. Inhale. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Inhale, lift your heart and exhale, downward facing dog. You can move your blanket to the side. We will come back to Kapiyasana, but it will be briefly that our knee is down. Inhale, left foot steps forward, right knee is down, reach your arms high, five ujjayi breaths. Remember the foundation, the breath and your drishti. If you press firmly through the back foot, you'll take the pressure off of the right knee. Now slowly take a twist to your left and lift the right knee off of the floor. Try to lift your rib cage from your thigh. Good, one more breath. Now take your right hand down to the floor, same, in this direct line out from the left foot and step your left foot back for Vasisthasana. You can step it back halfway or all the way. So halfway would look like this, rolling to the outer edge of the right foot, all the way back, looks like this, five ujjayi breaths. Press your fingertips into the floor, breathe deep and gaze up. Energy is up, it's positive, it's active, it's vibrant. Good, one more breath and downward facing dog. Now step the right foot forward, left knee down, optional. Take the arms high, five ujjayi breaths. Keep positive thoughts, positive energy, prime. Fingers pointing up, index finger up if your arms are above your head. Intention mudra. Intention for positive energy today. But now bring the hands to the heart and we're going to twist to the right. Lifting the left knee if it's not already up. Make sure you're not laying on the thigh. Good work. Now take the left hand down and we're going to step the right foot back either halfway, lifting your right arm up or all the way. So set your foundation, press through the ball of your hand, the base of your hand, the fingertips 
and then the outer left foot. Maybe you're using your right foot too. And then your breath is important in this pose. Send your energy through your breath anywhere it needs to go. And then gaze up for positivity. Good, at last breath here. Take the hands down, downward facing dog. Inhale to a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Take the right leg high. Give yourself a nice three-legged dog. Feel the stretch through the left calf muscle. Three more Ujjayi breaths. Inhale, lift your left heel. Exhale, bend your left knee. And I want you to hop forward if you can or walk, keeping your right foot off the floor. Half splits or vertical splits. Gaze into your navel. Option to hold on to your left ankle with one hand or two. Time to kiss the left knee. Spread your toes of your left foot, active left leg, right leg lifts, hip is soft. Now we're gonna come up and take Padangustasana, but you can, and this first one, let's just try for the shin. So soften the left knee, looking forward, inhale, come up, don't let your right foot touch the floor, don't let it touch, don't let it touch. Take the left hand to the shin, reach your right arm high, you can also take your foot down to the floor instead, and then slowly twist to the right for five ujjayi breaths. Keep core strong. And let's take it back down to the vertical splits. Slowly get there. And soften your left knee, look forward, hop it back. Keep the right leg high. Inhale, come to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga, right foot is off floor if you can. Inhale, upward facing dog. Take the right foot down, downward facing dog. Ooh, finally. Right foot gets to come down. Five Ujjayi breaths. Gaze is at the tip of your nose. So your length in your spine is active, long, fluid. Tailbone is reaching high. Lift the left leg to the sky. Find your vertical splits or your three-legged dog here. We will be coming into vertical splits soon. Feel that luscious stretch. Send your breath into your right calf muscle behind your knee, into your ankle, into the Achilles. Good, and then soft in the right knee, looking forward and hop into vertical splits, lifting the left leg, gaze towards the navel. And right hand and, and or left hand can hold on to the right ankle or you can just focus on lifting the left leg. Now let's try for that balance pose again. Soften the right knee a little bit as you swing the left leg forward. Remember option two, keep the foot down or lift the leg holding on to your left shin with your right hand. Left arm reaches up and back. Left foot is active. Right leg is active. Check in with your breath. Gazing back beyond the left hand. Ready? One more breath. We're going to take it back to the vertical splits. Arms come down. Soften your right knee. Hop back. Inhale to a plank. 
Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Let's try that again, seeing if we can reach all the way for the toe this time. So we're gonna take the right leg up, bend the left knee and hop forward. Vertical splits, five Ujjayi breaths. This time, try a little more on the balance. Right, and then slowly swing your right leg through. All right, see if you can go all the way for the foot, reaching your right arm up, straighten the leg if possible. Try your twist, set your foundation, active left leg, toes. Are you breathing? And where are you gazing? Beyond the right hand, two more breaths. Back to vertical splits. Soften the left knee, hop it back. This time, let's try plank pose. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Keeping right foot up and take the right foot down, downward facing dog. Left leg goes high. I bend the right knee, look forward, hop, and you're in your vertical splits once again. All right, ready to swing it through, soften your right knee, come up. And again, you can stop here, take your twist here, or lift the knee, hold on to the shin, or maybe the leg, the foot. Turn your gaze left. Check in with your breath. Should be more or less trying to become even. Inhale to exhale. And then release it, take it back to your vertical splits. Soften your right knee, look forward. They're gonna try to hop back and take Chaturanga with left foot off floor. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Press through the base of the hand, the ball of the hand, the fingertips, heels pressing towards the floor. As your tailbone lifts high, if you have very tight hamstrings, you're bending your knees. Three more Ujjayi breaths. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, bend the knees and hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift your head, exhale, Uttanasana. Cross your thumbs, soften your knees. Inhale, reach the arms high, lifting your heart and your gaze and your positive vibration. Surya Namaskar, three, C, three rounds. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot steps back. Exhale, left downward facing dog. Inhale to a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, Ujjangasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Exhale, left. Cross the thumbs, lift your head. Other side, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps back. Exhale, right. Inhale to a plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Exhale, wrap. Cross the thumbs, reach up. I'll do one more round with you, one on your own today. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, right foot steps back. Exhale, left. Inhale to plank. Ashtangasana. 
Bhujangasana. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right foot inhale. Exhale out. Cross the thumbs. Exhale for left side. Inhale, left foot goes back. Exhale, right. Inhale to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Exhale, right. And once on your own. And rest for a moment, five ujjayi breaths, controlling your energy with a soft gaze, positive thoughts. And then we'll open the eyes, cross the thumbs, inhale, lift your hands, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take the right foot back, left knee does not touch down. Inhale, reach up nice and high with your arms. Exhale, twisting to your left. We're gonna try Vasisthasana a little different now. I'm gonna show us to go this left side first so you can see it easily on your screen. You take the right hand down and then take your peace sign fingers to the big toe of your left foot. And you have the option to come halfway as you roll to the outer edge of your right foot for this and stay here or extend the leg. And if you can extend the leg, you're not far from being able to roll your whole right foot on the floor and lift your left leg anywhere you can go here. I'm gonna try this twice on each side. Good, and then bend your knee and gently place it back. That's almost harder. <laughs> Inhale, reach up. Big cleansing breath. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's try the other side. Stepping the right foot forward, left knee does not come down. Inhale, lift your head. Now slowly twist to your right. Feel that nice twist through the spine, staying five breaths. Try not to lay on the thigh. Good, and then slowly look forward. Bring your left hand down. Take your peace sign fingers to your right big toe. So you're gonna roll to the outer edge of your left foot and you can lift your right leg or you can place your left foot down and extend your right leg and lift it at the same time. Good, five breaths. Make sure your gaze goes up. Foot is firmly placed, hand is firmly placed, and energy rises with your positive breath and your positive intention. Now release the leg. Ooh, take it back to down dog. So we didn't step it forward that time. All right, let's try it one more time. Step the left foot forward. Inhale just to bring the arms up. Right knee not on the floor, exhale to the left, 
five breaths. Get away from the thigh with your ribs. And right hand comes down, left peace sign fingers, grab onto the left big toe, roll to the outer edge of your right foot and lift it up if you can. Your whole right foot flows to the floor. Stick to it like glue. That's your foundation, right leg active, left leg lifted, hips active, right arm active, fingertips. Breath is calm and peaceful and positive. Drishti is up. We're gonna to try to take it back with our hand on the toe. We'll do it again on the other side. Step it back, careful. Nice, and downward facing dog. No need for another chaturanga. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale to the right. This time, remember, we're going to bring our foot up with our peace sign fingers and take it back again. So turning back to the front, take your peace sign fingers to big toe, roll to the outer edge of your left foot. You can keep the right leg bent and lifted or extend it long in front of you or all the way to the sky. Try to roll the left foot down. Once you feel you've got your foundation, hand and foot are active, arm and leg are active. Check in with your breath. And then turn your gaze up. Now bend your right knee for the tricky finale. Step it back. Ooh, lift your heart and take it back to downward facing dog. Inhale to a plank, please. Keep going forward as you bend your elbows, looking forward the whole time. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svandasana, down dog. Some standing postures. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Virabhadrasana one, but flowing. One breath, one movement. Exhale, flow gracefully into warrior two, gaze over right arm. Inhale to reverse. And exhale to side angle pose. Right hand comes down, left arm reaches over, or you can take your arm to your thigh. Now we're going to, this is an exhale. So inhale in your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, rise. To Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Let's try the left side. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale to two. Think about your foundation, your breath and your drishti. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, arm goes over, side angle. Inhale to plank, step your foot back, don't slide it. You can take three-legged, inhale. Exhale. Let's try that again, right side. Virabhadrasana one, keep going. Exhale, align your feet for warrior two. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale, side angle, looking up. Inhale in plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Left side. One. Big breath in. Exhale in two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale and plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, two more. Inhale, right foot steps forward, warrior one. 
Try to remember it. You'll do the next one on your own. Warrior two. I'll do it with you. I just won't call it out. Reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale at plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot. Ready? Next set on your own, right foot, left foot. Goes one to two, reverse to side angle. Other side. Take five breaths and then we're facing down. And then we're going to return. And we're going to stop in our side angle and try for a bound. So looking forward, inhale, step your right foot forward, Vira Bhadrasana, one. Big inhale. Feet are well grounded, hips are facing the front. Exhale, float gracefully and purposefully into warrior two. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, side angle for five breaths. You can choose. It can be here, here, or take a bind. If you're in a bind, I'll offer you the opportunity to stay bound for trikonasana, which will come after this, after three more breaths. So if you're bound in your side angle pose, straighten your right leg, scoot your left foot back a little bit, hasta bada trikonasana. Or if you're not bound, inhale, come up, stretch your back foot further back, reach long to the front, trikonasana. Last breath here. Now bend your right knee to come out safely. Hands come down, turn your left heel high. Step it back, try not to slide it back. Lift your heart, Chaturanga or Dvambuka, Adho Mukha Shvarasana. Let's try the other side. Left foot comes forward, inhale, warrior one. Flow gracefully as you step your right foot back a little further to give yourself space into two. Inhale, reach up, open your left hip. Exhale, Parsukonasana done your way. Wrapper the grabber if you're holding on. Right arm tries to become as straight as possible. Turn your, once your foundation is set, legs, active feet. Open heart, check in with your breath, and turn your gaze upward. Now straighten the left leg if you're bound. If not, come out. Find trikonasana on left side.
Good. Bend the left knee to come out safely. Hands come down, come to the top of your right toes. Step the foot back, don't slide it down dog. Inhale to a plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. Exhale to Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Take five breaths here. Lift the right leg high, take a good stretch of the right leg, and then pull the knee into the nose, but take the right foot through to the left. Grab a hold of your foot with your left hand. Left hand grabs right foot, give it a good stretch here. Maybe you can take a modified Visvamitrasana. And taking it back all the way to the sky, stretch it up and take the right foot down. Let's try the other side. Lift the left leg high. Now pull the knee in towards the nose, exhaling. Grab a hold of the outer left foot as you roll to the whole right foot on the floor. But now the right foot is in a 90 degree angle parallel to the end of your mat. Extend your left leg long it can be in front of you the knee can still be bent or the leg could be long in a visvamitrasana fashion great way to get a good stretch through the side body the back hips great legs and take it back good. and downward facing dog I'm going to walk our feet forward for Malasana. Not all the way forward, walk them halfway forward. Taking your toes, pointing them out, lower, bending your knees as much as you can for you personally. Try to stretch out the low back a little bit. Maybe they don't bend very deep, that's okay. The knees don't want to go too deep, you can stay a little higher. Activating and squeezing your quadricep muscles. Now we're moving from here into Bakasana, Crow Pose. So maybe you'd like a crash pad for your Bakasana. You can always put that in front of you. And we're going to bring our hands down and bring our feet closer together. So, but my arms are on the insides of my knees. So I'm gonna use that to really squeeze everything in towards the center line. You have to lift your heels to shift your weight forward. So don't think of it as taking your feet off the floor. Think of it as a shift of energy forward. Like someone has a hold of your head of your, I had some of your hair on your head and they're pulling you forward. Or your head is like a knob on a drawer and you're being pulled forward. But first, spread the fingers very, very wide. Lift your heels and start to shift your weight forward as you squeeze your knees in towards your arms. And as you shift forward, your feet are gonna come off automatically. And when they do, you can lift your heels a little higher. Use your core, squeeze everything in towards the center line. Keep squeezing the knees. Keep your gaze lifted. Option to jump out to Chaturanga or step back again and stay because we're trying one more time. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog if you'd like. And walk your feet forward, not in Malasana. Bend your knees, heels are lifted. So I'm gonna separate the knees, slide my hands back, my knees are squeezing against my biceps, my triceps. Inhale, lift the heels, squeeze everything in, everything in the midline. Shift your weight forward, just shifting the weight forward. When your feet magically come off, you can lift your heels. Good, Chaturanga. 
Urdhva, Adho Mukashvanasana. Stretching it and downward facing dog. And lifting your head, we're going to walk our feet halfway forward again. I'm going to turn to face you in Malasana, toes out, and they don't, you don't have to go very deep. We're coming into Bird of Paradise, Ikabada Kurma Dandasana. So it can be here, 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 as you'd like. And you're welcome to not take the balance pose, but to instead take a twist with me. I'm going to start first with the left side. So reaching your left arm under the left leg, opening through the right. Option to stay here. This is an excellent place to stay. You can even sit on blocks. Or reaching for the top hand, clasping on, starting to stand up, bringing your feet a little closer, slide your left foot in. If you want to stay here, you can. You can also option to put all of your weight in the right foot, standing up in the right leg, opening through the left. Now, how's your breath? If you're ready, turn your gaze right. Open your chest. Think positive thoughts. First bicycle, favorite flavor of vegan ice cream, whatever it may be. Let's take it back down, bend the knee, come down carefully and release back in that malasana position. All right, let's try the other side. Right hand goes under, left arm opens. Option to stay here or wrap. Your right hand's gonna grab your left in this case. Slowly stand up. Option to stay right here. Excellent stretch on the hips, on the legs, on the shoulders. Bring yourself a little, bring your left foot a little closer to your right. And then try to stand up. You can just leave your right heel off the floor if you want or stand all the way on your left leg. Check the foundation of your left foot. Is it facing the same direction as your left knee? Are you able to open your chest? Are you able to breathe? Open the right leg. When you've got your breath, look left. One more breath. Now bend the knee carefully. It's almost as hard to come down. Gently bring yourself back to your malasana. And have a seat. Ah, shaking out the legs. Next, we'll try a twist and our back bends and our inversions. So taking the left leg underneath you, take the right leg on top. Option to keep the left leg long if your knee isn't happy in that position. This is Ardha Matsyandrasana, half Lord of the Fishes pose. Wrap the left arm around for a simple stretch of the right hip. Inhale, reach your right arm high. Exhale, take the right hand behind you and then slowly twist your belly right, ribs right, heart right, head right. So I gave you a simple instruction of a good hip stretch. If you'd like to go deeper, you can bring your arm on the outside, left arm on the outside of the right leg, or even take a bind, wrapping the left hand through the space between between the right and left legs and catching it with your back hand. We're here for eight breaths total, four more. Check your foundation, are both sits bones on the floor? Is your spine long? Can you breathe easily? Set your gaze in one place for two more breaths. And then inhale, turn the head forward, shoulders, and rest of body. 
Now change sides. First, you can shake out your legs a little if you'd like. And then bend the right knee and bring it underneath. Left leg goes on top this time. So you can take the simpler approach of giving yourself a really nice stretch by holding on to that leg. You're gonna feel it nicely through the left hip. Left arm goes behind you. Twist your belly left, ribs left, heart left, head left. Option to take the arm on the outside of the leg or even wrap it through. Whatever you did on the other side, try to do the same here. Check it with your foundation. Is your right leg coming down towards the floor? Your whole left foot on the floor? Both sits bones on the floor? Spine tall and not slumped? How's your breath? This is how your energy flows. Send all of your prana right now to your breath. All of your awareness. And then set your gaze in one place, unattached awareness. And on your next inhale, turn the head forward, shoulders and the rest of body, shaking out the legs. We'll get ready for our back bending. So we're gonna lay down on the floor and we have a five breath rest. So find a place to lay down and turn your palms up, separate your feet. And just feel how the energy is flowing in your body. How it's flowing a little higher now than maybe the, when you first started. How it felt tired or sluggish. Now your circulation is going. You've done a lot for your lymphatic system, endocrine system, circulation, heart, the muscles, the tissue, connective tissue. A lot for your energy. Taking the toes to face the sky, bend your knees, please, and reach for your heels. First step is Satu Bandhasana today. So in Satu Bandhasana, we want to really set the foundation. Spread your toes. Imagine that your legs have magnets between them. Your middle finger might get close to your heels. Roll your shoulders back, pulling your shoulder blades together. Keep your feet Open very wide, spread your toes, use your ball of your foot and your heels. Inhale, lift your bottom evenly, not one side and then the other. Notice if one side comes up before the other, if one leg or one glute is really active. And then interlace your fingers if you can, it, and then shimmy your shoulders together. Now, if you can't interlace the fingers under your back, no problem. You can just turn your palms open. That's a very nice practice as well. Turn your palms up to the sky. Some people who are a little more muscular in their upper body, it's hard to uh, connect those hands. Press weight into the big toe, little toe, ball of foot, heel. Use your arms, use your shoulders to lift you as high as you can. Keep your legs pulling towards one another. Keep pressing into the big toes, little toe, ball of foot, both sides of the heel. Positive energy gazes your navel. Three more breaths. Keep the lift going on, use your arms. Press yourself up. One more breath. And then gently release your hands and roll down. Separate your feet and rock your knees side to side. We have another round. Back 
And then let's try our next round, okay? So in this next round, you're welcome to stay in Satu Bandhasana or reach your hands by your ears and press yourself up a little further. Inhale, lift your bottom, interlace your fingers, shimmy your shoulders, excellent prep for Urdhva Dhanurasana, if that's where you wanna go next. And then take your hands so you can stay there or take your hands by your ears, pressing yourself up. Make sure your hands are at least as wide as your shoulders. You can walk your feet in a little bit for more support. You can even lift your heels, rock a little. Gaze is third eye. Stay three more breaths with me. If you're in Urdhva Dhanurasana, pull your chin towards your throat and come down into your shoulders and roll down. Otherwise, separate your hands and roll down again. And this time, bring your left ankle just above your right knee, opening it like a number four. Pull the leg in. Give yourself a nice stretch for your hips. You can turn your right ankle. Keeping your left foot active. And then lower down the right foot. Extend your arms out like a T. And then step your right foot to the right and lower both knees to the left, turning your gaze right. And then release your left foot from your right leg and bring your knees up to the sky once again. This time, cross your right ankle above your left knee and reach for the place behind your left thigh. And if you can't reach back there, you can hold on to your right thigh and your left thigh with each hand, or even go a little deeper, bend your left knee and hold on to the left shin. Right foot stays very active, toes are active, foot is active. You can turn your left ankle. And lots of positive breath, prana, energy, love to the right hip here. And then releasing your hands, releasing your hold, extend your arms out and step your left foot one giant step to the left. Drop both knees to the right, turning your head left. And then release your right foot from your left leg. Roll to the right, grab your blanket, and come up to a seat. All right, we're going to practice shoulder stand today or the option of legs up to the sky. So taking, if you have a blanket like this, about this size, you can roll one side in and the other side on top. To make it the right size to go under your spine or under, support your back. This will also support your neck, that your whole neck will not be plastered on the floor, so it'll give you a nice space. You should always be able to put your hand between your neck and the floor in shoulder stand. Okay, so we're going to lay back, and my shoulders are at the edge of my blanket. My head is hanging off. I'm gonna pull the knees in towards the chest, chin is to the throat, Stretch out the low back here. Option one, lift the legs and stay. Option two, take the feet behind the head to Halasana.
Toes are on the floor, walking towards your face. If your legs are facing the sky and your back, whole back is on the floor, keep your legs active, heels pressing up. Now, if you're in Halasana, lift one leg and then the other. Finding your place. Hands are on the middle back. Keep the lift. Keep pressing actively through the feet. Six more breaths. Gazing at the toes, foundation is shoulders and arms. Breath is calm and peaceful. Keep reaching up through your toes. Two more breaths. Now take the feet back behind you. Hands reach forward. Use your hands on the floor like brakes. Roll down nice and slowly. Slow, slow, slow as you go. Bend your knees. Soles of the feet are on the floor. Roll to one side and remove your blanket. Legs go long, arms alongside the body. Externally rotate through the shoulders. Inhale, lift your torso off the floor, curving your upper back and your neck, taking the crown of the head to the floor. Option to stay here for Matsyasana, the counter pose to shoulder stand, or lift your legs, lift your hands, a little more creative, a little more energetic version of Matsyasana. We're going to all breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. Three more breaths. And release the pose. Inhale, lift your head, lift your torso, exhale. Let everything go. Grab a hold of your blanket, preparing for Shavasana. Putting it under your head. Separating your feet, pull your shoulder blades together. On your back. Chin comes towards your throat. The neck is very, very long. Feet are wide. Lots of space between them. Alternate nostril breathing, no hands on your nose, please. We're going to just use our mind in this. We're gonna start by inhaling through the left nostril only, no hands. Exhale, right nostril. Inhale, right nostril. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. One more round, inhale, left. And exhale, right. Inhale, right nostril. And exhale, left. And allow everything to settle to the floor. Hands, feet back, hips, legs. Just surrender the outer physical body to the floor. If 
feel how your energy has changed from when you first came to your mat today. Just take that positive energy that you lifted up towards the top of the head and replenish our chakras because as we lifted the energy through the chakras, we depleted them. Let's take it back down again and replenish. Take all of your awareness, please, to the top of the head, Sahasrata Chakra, violet in color. Our connection to divine awareness, to love, to the universe, to miracle and possibility. Next, please bring your awareness to the center of the eyebrows, indigo color, Ajna Chakra. This is our internal wisdom, our intuition. The eye that sees what the other two do not. Next, bring your awareness, please, to the center of the throat, Vishuddha Chakra. Vishuddha means purification, purifying our expression, the way we communicate, the way we listen. Next, our awareness settles into the heart center, Anahata Chakra, emerald green in color. This is our love center, giving and receiving love. The right is to be loved here. Gratitude comes from here, kindness, self-care, care for others, compassion, empathy, unity. Wherever your focus goes, your energy flows, flowing energy into the heart chakra. Now a little lower down, visualize yellow at the solar plexus where the ribs come together between the navel and the heart center. Manipura, our fire center. Manipura is jewel, jewel in the city. This is our personal power area, willpower, how we help others and help ourselves. Yellow. Next, bringing the awareness down to Swadhisthana Chakra, our water center. Just below the navel, see the color orange, fluid orange. This is our intimacy center. How we are comfortable with intimacy comes from here. How we flow through transitions in our life, we don't get stuck. Next, the base of the spine, Muladhara Chakra, red in color. Muladhara, the root chakra, how we're connected to the earth and all others. This is our grounding chakra.
and coming back into this complete positive body, mind, and spirit, fully nourished for whatever comes next. Start to open your fingers by moving them, your toes, your ankles and wrists. Stretch your body, take a long stretch. Arms reach over your head, chin at your throat. Give yourself a really nice morning stretch. And then bend your knees and roll to your right side, please. Three breaths. And then gently place your left hand down on the floor and come up to a seat. Closing chants. Om Shanti 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 today. Hands at heart center. Lifting the spine, chin towards your throat. Visualize someone you'd like to send this piece to today. some things, some higher intention, maybe. Ready? Starting with Om. Om Shanti 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 It's been an honor to lead your practice. Thank you, Om Shanti.